Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Shadowrun Returns, episode number 21. It's been like a day and a half since I've played, so... I'm trying to remember where we left off. I guess... Uh... Yeah. We had just killed the Emerald Ripper, but not before he... informed us that he was working for someone else. A female, I believe it was. Uh... Hmm... Or so he said. Never take that for granted. Just because someone says it's a female doesn't mean it's a female. Pro tip of the day. Um, yeah, so the Ripper's dead. I promised uh, Nexus in comments that I would uh, spend some karma on charisma. I probably don't need very much more body. Although I did almost die last fight. Strength is pretty good. And I don't think... I mean, I don't need any weapons. I could... Increase melee weapons. What is this? Disarm. Forces target to drop weapon. Meh. Obviously don't need intelligence, huh? And then these, I haven't even bought half of these. Stride. Counter strike. Magic resistance 2. That would be, what, 8 to get stride. That's no fun. Charisma. I get new etiquettes. New etiquette. New etiquette. So every two levels, new etiquette. New etiquette. So as an elf, you can get one, two, three, four, five, six etiquettes. Let's just... Oh. Security! You know I'm around cops so much. Let's just do... Let's go all the way up here. Well, not all the way up. Runner. That's me. I can deal with cops and I can deal with other runners. Sounds good to me. Oh, what is this? A totem. A totem choice available. Maximum for trolls. Conjuring. Boy. Trolls don't make good conjurers. Maximum for trolls. Not close combat. If you run out of stuff to do once you get way up here. Not a whole lot of options. That high up. Eight. I guess I could buy another thing of strength. No, probably not. Six. Seven. Six. Nah, forget it. That should be good. All right, let's get back into this. It's time to plan our next move, I think is what it said. Plan your next move. That's funny. Optional, find someone to give the mercy mental data to give? Yeah, right. Johnny Clean, talk to me. Johnny Clean is talking with Cherry Bomb and Miss Kubota when you walk up. We were just talking about you, Stud. And the Emerald City Ripper. Ironic that you tracked a serial killer to a mental hospital. I can't do her voice. <laughs> Johnny just... No, that's a no, no, no. Bad. Anyway, Johnny just told us where you were going. Om, ome? Is that like a Japanese word? Uh, you, we've been waiting f for you to return. Etiquette. I thought you kn thought you knew better than that, Johnny. Johnny frowns and nods. You're right. I should have kept my mouth shut. I should have known better. It's just that we have a personal stake in the Ripper murders. Great. We each have our own, or we each have our reasons for wanting the killer found. Sam was a regular here, and his loss has been felt, regardless of his shortcomings. What did he owe you money? Uh, the whole sprawl has been shaken by these killings as well, the randomness of them. No one knows if they will be next or what the killer might take from them. I admit that the killings have impaired, or have ha hampered, impaired, hampered business as well. I'm sorry, but it's true. It doesn't help that Sam's body was found down the street from here. Even my regular customers have been loath to venture out with a killer on the loose. Well, now the killer's not on the loose. Now tell us, uh, did you find the person responsible for the Ripper murders? The person responsible? No. The killer? Yes. Uh, not exactly. I got the bastard who wielded the scalpel, but whoever's pulling the strings is still out there. Uh, yeah. Let's be cryptic. I don't understand. Are you saying the Ripper wasn't responsible for his own actions? Ah, shut up, Johnny. That sounds more complicated than I suspected. 
It is. The head of the asylum was killing specific people to harvest specific body parts. All of the transplanted organs came from the same donor, Melinda Watts, Sam's mother. It looked like he was putting her back together. Oh, yeah, the whole thing was a Frankenstein job. <laughs> is that how they... Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's reveling in it. The Ripper was harvesting body parts to reassemble Sam's mother, Melinda. All the victims had transplanted organs. Her organs. And the Ripper was taking them back. Uh, yeah, let's do that. The three are silent as the news sinks in. That's funny. So, Sam had an organ transplant from his mother, and then the Ripper killed Sam and all the other people just to reassemble Sam's mother? Looks like it. Grizzly, isn't it? Uh, it's about the size of it, yeah. I sense a cause and effect in this. Coyote and Jake Armitage just left here to attend Sam's funeral. I'm told they were... Or I'm told that there will be a reinterment ceremony for his mother as well. My sister invited me to the funeral and the reinterment re when I met her. Right, reinterment... Is that how you say that? Yeah, reinterment ceremony. Interesting. Sounds like she'll be buried with all our missing body parts. Interesting. It's the sister all along. Think his sister had something to do with it? I do. Hang on. I saw Sam's sister when she was here the other day. She was a corp as or she was as corp as they come, but I can't imagine a lady like that behind a series of murders. That's got to be something else. Or there's got to be something else going on. It is clear that you must go to the funeral and talk with Jessica Watts, stud. I will. I'm going to get some answers. That's where I'm headed, Miss Kubota. Or that's where I was headed. And I need to pay my respects to Sam. So I will, and I'll get some answers. I'm sure you will. Yeah. What does a 700-pound troll get? Whatever he wants. Uh, Miss Kubota raises her hand, and the conversation stops. Wait. Before you go, there's one thing you didn't tell us, stud. Where is the Emerald City Ripper now? Decomposing? I think you know where. Well, use it in heaven, I'm sure of that. Decomposing? She nods in satisfaction. Hi, that's good. Oh, God, I gotta talk to you again, huh? Was there something else? I found this list in a data store at Mercy Mental. Oh, my, that is unspeakable. Do I get money for that? I could have given it to anybody. Why'd I give it to her? Uh, murder was not enough for this person. Selling patients as Bunraku slaves. Thank you for bringing this to me. I know you are still hot on the trail of your friend Sam's killer. I will contact some runners to liberate these poor souls from the buyers on this list. Oh, there you go. You have done much good here today. Wait, is she going to liberate those guys? Re wipe their... It's going to be like a whole subgroup of former Benraku. Benraku. That's so weird. Ah, the hand of the Ripper was more of a m monster than anyone... The hand of the Ripper was more of a monster than anyone could have known. No problem. Good luck. What? No reward? Let me know if I can do anything else. I will. Goodbye for now. Get out of here. I guess I can hit the safe house. Blah, blah, blah. This guy again. Welcome back, stud. Good to be back, Mr. Clue. What's the latest news? Ha, <laughs> thanks, big guy. Most of the rumors are about you and what you've been doing. Word around here is that you were closing in on the Ripper when you last left. Dare I ask how that went? He won't be a problem anymore. He's in the ground. Sam's killer has met his end. I hope that means what I think it means. Oh, it does. And yet your shoulders are no more relaxed, and you still survey the room like a man who has yet to return from war. This isn't over, is it? Not quite. A few loose ends to tie up. There have been some complications. The Ripper may have been killing on someone else's orders. 
man, I am enigmatic. The big guy sighs. I was hoping this would soon all be all behind us. The Baron's has a short memory, but for wounds such as these, it makes an exception. To see this prolonged, I fear for how it may forever change the landscape. What the hell? That's the weirdest thing I ever heard a troll say. Gangs have already started to take advantage of the chaos left in the Ripper's wake, and that only serves to destabilize what semblance of order there was, paving the way for the megacorps to make land grabs and push poor sinless further into the fringes where the dangers are greatest. Sooner or later, even the Union could be threatened. Good water and hole always survives. Uh, good thing the Union's got you. You would take an army. Well, they do have an army. Let's hope. Take care, Stud. You too, Mr. Clear. Uh, more stuff in the stash. You probably don't have anything to say, and I'm not going to buy any cybernetics. Doc Castle looks to be better rested in her and in better spirits than the last time you saw her. She also clearly had a shower and a change of clothes, maybe even some sleep. Her eyes are sharp when they turn up from her work to greet you. Welcome back, Stud. Still all in one piece, I see. More's the pity for me, but I'll still take your money. Perhaps a full physical is in order? Or we can call it a medical consultation. That's where I roughly determine the odds of your survival based on your profession. What does that say? Proclivities. It seems with... It comes with a lollipop. That's weird. So what'll it be? Actually, I'm curious about how many patients you've lost over the years. Excuse me? Uh, Doc Castle sets down her work and fixes you with a hard look. Her expression normally falls on an axis of varying degrees of indifference, depending on her level of tiredness. But now, it has shifted over to something decidedly darker. Is this morbid curiosity? Call it professional curiosity. And I suppose I should be equally professional and answer without judging you for asking. And I should not let it bias me the next time you fall under my knife. I give you a hard number is difficult. There are many who I would have considered patients that never made it home. And so I suppose one could say they died while under my care, though not as a result of it. But the number I think you want is the number of patients who died on my table. That number is six. Six who I was unable to save, spread across 13 year career, and I remember each and every one, down to the smallest detail, including the moment where I realized I could do nothing more for them. I would argue that four of those six were beyond helping from the moment they passed through my door. The fifth died as a result of complications while installing a stolen piece of experimental cyberware which I had cautioned against using. And the sixth, entirely my fault. I made a mistake. I can't claim I was overtired or inexperienced or distracted. I simply made the wrong decision and a young man died as a result. We all make mistakes and hopefully we learn from them. Still sounds like a pretty stellar track record, Doc. Sorry. She picks up her tablet and resumes her work. Yes, well, will there be anything else? No, I don't need your cybernetics. I'm a troll. I got everything I need all up in me already. That sounds weird. Hey, what's up? Uh, nothing. Take your gear and shove it. On his workbench, Buster currently has a mil-spec shotgun fully disassembled and its parts neatly arranged. His loving mess... mess uh, he leveling massages each piece with a microfiber cloth coated in some kind of gun oil or polish. Whatever this stuff is, it leaves the pieces shining, brilliant, and pungent as hell. Got some catalogs just come in. If you might be interested in an order, I can get gear shipped overnight from the manufacturer, though I won't lie to you, you'll be paying for the convenience. Otherwise, I got plenty of useful bang-bangs waiting for a good home. What do you say? Uh, what's the new hotness when it comes to dealing damage, buster? Well, there are two schools of thought on the matter. There are those who swear by the smart guns of, and such because they make the weapon more accurate, 
and thus more deadly than there are those who subscribe to the bigger boom theory, putting all their money on the biggest and baddest rounds. But if you ask me, it's all situational. That's where the real advantage or advances have come. But you can pack a Panther assault cannon. But it won't do you no favors if you're fighting in a basement hallway. By that same token, a room sweeper might carve up your average pack of gangers, but close and personal, up close and personal. But its range is a bit is its big limitation. God, I can't read. Military life never taught me that. It was dealing to runners like yourself that afforded me the this epiphany. You gotta be ready for anything. On that note, might I interest you in some custom mods or perhaps some specialty grenades? Let me take a look at what you got. I need melee, sir. I guess I could use grenades, but... God, look at all these guns that I'm never gonna use. I should really sell that baseball bat. I gotta... Well, I mean, it's not gonna make me any money, though. I gotta cough. Hold up. So much coughing. I don't know if my audio recording's back on. Hopefully it is. Advanced drone repair kit. Can I really sell anything? I guess you could sell this. Oh, you have to, like, drag it over. We'll sell that, too. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then a bunch of grenades and some of this stuff. And... Yeah. Great. Sounds great. So. That's it for now. This guy's like, I got armor, but it's all the same armor you've already seen. Hey, guy, I got some armor clothing. Armored clothing. Here, if you're interested. I'll have a look. Oh, look at that. It's the exact same stuff. Hooray. Yep. Like that. And then this guy has my chi that I probably should be buying. Algernon stands stock still. His eyes closed and his face composed in a mask of stern concentration. But then a small snore escapes his nose, instantly shattering the elf's careful manicured mystique. So it doesn't look like an elf. I think it might be because he's a little heavier. Uh, a, a clearing of your throat is enough to rouse the talism is it it's talism talismonger talismonger is it talisman talismonger uh from his meditation ah stud i was watching your approach from the astral realm so good of you to visit again i don't believe that i think this is all a show those are probably cybernetic eyes that glow so how are things in the astral always a curious place the astral Though a mere world to your own, it is ever-changing. I suppose the same could be said for our reality, but things of a transitory nature here on the physical plane can cause long-lasting changes in the astral. The barrens that we can see and touch records the past with bloodstains on the sidewalk and bullet holes in the storefront walls, but the astral goes further, recording the emotions that accompany these acts of violence. These events, texture, astral space. And just how is this, how is the astral textured these days? There's a great deal of fear and distrust in some places. It's strong enough to impact the working of magic. Great. But enough of my doom sayings. You must have better things to do. Is there any way I can help? Uh, sure. Let's have a look at what you have for sale. And let's just go right here. And then let's start with the cheap stuff. Magic resistance. Manifest, even though I probably won't need it. Stride, which I get right now. Adept's movement is increased by four for three rounds. Uh, the Adept turn and so we'll go. Adept gains. Medium cover bonus to magic spells. Quick strike. There is not much. Whatever. Did I buy those or? What's the deal here? 
What's going on? I don't know. I think I did. All right. On that note, I guess it's time to get back upstairs and take a cab to the funeral. And get on to episode number 22. Can I just click all the way through? And he'll find the path himself. Come on, troll. There it is. And we're gone. Take a cab to Sam and Melinda Watts' funeral. Confirm. All right. I really need to wait for these screens to load before I start reading because it drops frames, right? I think. All right. All right. The sun has nearly set when you reach Our Lady of the Blessed Sacrament. Its cemetery, dilapidated and overgrown, sits atop a small hill on the outskirts of the city, a somber enclave of the dead overlooking the sprawling of the living. The sprawl of the living. The Seattle rain continues unabated, and the lightning appears over the mountain, exposing a landscape in staccato pulses of stark flashes. You walk the gravel path to the gate of the cemetery. Up ahead, you see Coyote and Jake standing by the gravesite alongside Jessica Watts and another mourner. A beautiful elven woman in a six-figure outfit. Is that a really expensive outfit? Uh, whatever Dr. Holmes was up to at Mercy Mental Hospital, the, answer lie here, the answers lie here with the in reinternment with the reinterned body of Melinda Watts the recently deceased body of Sam Watts and with those attending them at this ceremony. Man. Uh, okay. Do I want any of this stuff? I don't think so. We're good to go. Am I fighting alone? We have karma available to improve your character's attributes and skills. Open the karma screen. No. I just spent karma. How much do I have? Oh, I have ten actually enough to actually spend some points all right well i guess i'm gonna end the recording here that was episode number 21 when we pick up it'll be episode number 22 and the plot will thicken